Radio One Podcast. Radio One Podcast. Download them for free at bbc.co.uk slash radio one. Now. The Scott Mills Daily. Oh, God, it all kicked off last night, didn't it? We went out for a little meeting after the show. Yeah. And we didn't even get to the pub. And there was a proper oh. fight in the streets. Yeah, there was. It was all kicking off. We went over the road. So, <clears throat> our boss steps in mm-hmm. to break it up. And this re- just really got to you, didn't it, Becky? It really did. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you saw him in a whole new light. Everything went so focused when he stepped in. <laughs> I've never seen like, it before. <gasps> oh, oh, my God. I, I, was I think I love him. him. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, <laughs> you've never felt anything for this man before, right? Never. And never got, a twinge. He's gone today. But yeah. last night, for, for the next ten minutes... Oh, it's off now. What a missed opportunity yeah. for him. Everything went a bit slow-mo, like love hearts forming. It was quite brave of him. It was. You did what you always do and I turned your back and on... pretended to be on the phone. Yeah, I did. No, hang on a second. You were also on the phone. You were talking on the phone. We thought you were calling the police. Who were you on the phone to? I was actually on the phone to uh, ex-England Rugby Union International, Ben Cohen. <laughs> but I, I got off the phone to him to go and try and help. And then when I realised I couldn't, I then rang him back. When it, <laughs> when, it all started to k- <laughs> when it all started to kick off, though, mm. you do what you always do when you're like trying to calm things down. Mm. And what is that? You don't even know, do you? No. You go... Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa, no, whoa, go, whoa, whoa, I don't do it with jazz hands like that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't do it like that. Why do you do that every time? I did it in a very, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, do it for us now, right? So That's okay. what I did. Right, there's a proper scrap going on. Yeah. Me and Becca love yeah. the scrap. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You do it every there you time. Go. <laughs> the Scott Mills Daily. You know what, Chopper? What? You're like Flow Rider. Why? When you try and calm things down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Radio One Podcast. Download them for free at bbc.co.uk slash radio one. Radio One. And now... National Radio One. It's time for the wing ring where our favourite singer cheers somebody up, makes their day a little bit brighter through the power of song. Now, earlier... We recorded this before. I spoke to a lady called Rian. Hello, you are right? I'm very good. Where are you? I'm in Birmingham. Okay, and who's this wing ring for today then? My sister, Rachel. Okay, tell me what's happened. Uh, Sunday night we were down in on holiday in Wales and she got bit by a dog. So she's not very happy at the moment. It Ow! Went through, yeah, it went through her eyeball and she's had to have surgery and everything. Is, is she all right? Is she going to be yeah, all right? Yeah, she's, she's fine. She's operation was successful. We're not sure about her eyesight at the moment. We're not sure she'd recover or not, but uh, the operation was a success, so they say. So, there you go. So, Rianne, you thought after this happened, mm. how can I cheer my sister Rachel up? That's it, yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get a little Chinese woman to sing to her. Is that what you thought? Yeah. Okay. I would love that. Is Rachel a fan of Wing? Well, she's the one that said, oh, you've got to listen to it. It's ever so good. All right, so she does really like her. Yeah, she was the one that said, oh, you've got to go onto YouTube and have a look. It's brilliant. And, and you're a fan now as well? Oh, yes, and I'm converting the people in the office today as well. Should we try and give her a call? Yeah, let's see if she answers, hopefully. Hello, it's Wing. Hi. I'm giving you a, a ring on the phone. Okay. I have a message for you. <laughs> and here is the message. <laughs> this is for you. Why do birds suddenly appear every time near, just like me they long to be close to you why do birds fall down from the sky every time Close to 
Hi, Rachel. It's Scott Mills from Radio 1. So that was Hi. Wing singing for you on the phone. Thank you, Wing. <laughs> Do you want to know who set this up? I bet it was Rian. Here she is. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Scott. So that's actually made you feel a bit better? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wing rules. Wing rules. Uh, Rachel, I hope you get better soon. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We love you. I love you. Podcast. Hello, it's Radio 1. Hi, Scott, it's Karen. Hi, Karen, where are you now? I'm in the Scottish Borders. Okay, how can I help? Um, I'm just wondering, can you think of any way to kind of cool down this hot Scottish weather? Um, well... Sit in the shade. Sit in the shade. Sorry. <laughs> In the shade, I think. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> um, maybe. Don't do what he said. <laughs> <laughs> but well, why, have you got any ideas? I was thinking more along the lines of skinny dipping. In, on the Scottish borders? Yeah. Isn't... It's 32 degrees down here just now. Wow. Wow. 32? 32, yeah. It can't be 32. It is. <laughs> Right. Well, that is probably hot enough to go skinny, skinny dipping, but we don't. We're not thinking it's a good idea. Really? Why? Have you done it before? Yes. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you're the expert. <laughs> <laughs> D- don't kind of things get caught in you around you? Um... Not in you. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, around you. Do you know what I mean? Like seaweed and bits of r- rubbish and everything. We're just saying well... it's, it's not flattering. It can it's never be. Not really at the sea, so there's no seaweed. Right, without giving you the exact location, where are you planning to go and do it then? Um, around the Jedburgh area, where there's an amazing, amazing bomb hole. An amazing bomb hole, like a hole where a bomb was dropped. Okay, and good. it's really deep. That's excellent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can we? <laughs> Should we just end this now? <laughs> yeah. I did have so many questions, but I'm so scared to ask them. We've got to go, Karen. <laughs> right, do whatever you want, okay? Okay, love you, you go, guys. Do you want to go skinny dipping, Jeffrey? You go for it, love. <laughs> I love you. Love you, bye. The Scott Mills Daily. So, um, there's these classified websites where you can buy great stuff. Um... Uh, which Becky has found for us because she does like to be. It, it's the, the word is frugal, isn't it? Economical. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where did you find all this? They're on a web, they're on, there's loads of websites like this. They basically just. You can go on there, find some stuff you want to buy. You can swap stuff, find a house to rent, whatever. Do you go on them a lot? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I just. I, I don't earn as much money as you. I've got oh, to buy God. secondhand Are stuff sometimes. You're not sometimes. on 586,000 no. pounds yet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, now we've got Radio 1's Greg James to read some of these for us. Okay, this is actual stuff. He'll do anything, won't he? Yeah, <laughs> actual stuff you can buy on these websites that Becky likes so much. Guinea pig exhibition cage with carrying strap, £35. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so this is for a, it's a, a cage for a guinea pig exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly new, handmade and long-lasting. Not many were made and very handy to have. How, how, how is that handy to have? Well, if you have a guinea pig and you want to exhibit it. I no longer do exhibitions, so I'd just <laughs> like to pass it on to someone that can make good use of the box, as it's very good. Has a strap to go on shoulder. Hardly ever used, clean and disinfected. Click here for map. <laughs> I think 
that's good value for 35 quid. Do you have a guinea pig? No, I don't have 35 quid, but if I did, I <laughs> <laughs> I'd quite like to go to a guinea pig exhibition. If anyone's been to one, let me know. <laughs> right, uh, next one. Four in one screwdriver. Small, compact, with keychain. Now, this is a bit different, okay, because this mm. bloke isn't selling. Oh no, there's a twist. Swap for anything for nearly the same price. Just offer me what you have. Anything will be fine. So he just wants something for the same price. Useful as well. Yeah, really useful. Please do not waste my time, though, by offering small things, because you know what this is worth. <laughs> <laughs> That's slightly aggressive. Do you know what? <laughs> I actually don't know what, what it's worth. I don't either. I took these pictures, so what you see is what you get. Oh, brilliant. That makes me feel a lot better. I'll are just send you whatever I... Are we still on the screwdriver <laughs> Yeah. I'll just send you whatever I have. Okay. This is a good one as well. Japanese sword. £20. Right, so it's a Japanese sword. Red Japanese sword includes red sword and sheath, free wooden sword and box. £20 or near offer. What's, what's funny about that? I don't know. Is it the word, is it the word sheath? Don't say it. Why? Sheath. <laughs> is that sheath? No. That does to better. It's like hearing panties. Yeah, oh. panties does to Note, this is not a toy or a weapon. <laughs> what is it then? <laughs> it's a Japanese sword. It's got to be one or the other. It's not a toy or a weapon. <laughs> right, I don't like this one at all. Philips Lady Shaver. No, oh, five this pounds. Is, this is good. Five pounds. Five pounds for a lady shave. They're about twenty quid in the shops. <laughs> it's second hand. You can buy a new foil. No, uh, that's oh, dumb. How skanky you want to buy a second hand shaver? Lady shaver, battery operated. Five pounds. Location Broccoli. Click here for map. <laughs> <laughs> a map of where the lady shave can be found. <laughs> So you'd get that if, as long as it had a new foil. Yeah, you can buy a new foil for Does it, it say whether it's clean or That's not? minging. That's horrible. <laughs> you are so wrong. I like this one. Portholes. £45. So this man is selling portholes. <laughs> Two portholes. 45 the pair. Phone Alan. <laughs> they are just holes. I can't He's like selling it. holes? <laughs> BBC Radio 1 Podcast. Right, going back to the screwdriver again. Four in one screwdriver. Small, compact, with keychain. Now, someone's saying on the text that uh, four in one screwdrivers are 99p in Halford. Yeah. Right, okay. Swap for anything for nearly the same price. Just offer me what you have. <laughs> <laughs> so don't be offering him just like a, a Twix bar or something because. He knows that that is worth at least. You know what I mean? You need, you need to do swap it. for anything for nearly the same price. Just offer me what you have. Please do not waste my time though by offering small things because you know what this is worth. Don't waste his time. No. So you, you've got to go over ninety nine p to make it worth his while. Yeah. Radio One. Radio One podcast. Radio One podcast. Hello. How's it going? Who's that then? It's Matt in Blackpool. Hi, Matt in Blackpool. How, how can I help you today? Uh, why didn't you tell us how many actual miles of road were built then, or kilometres, or whatever it was? Everyone kilometers. wants to know. Everyone wants to know. Yeah, I bet you had millions of texts. Do you know what? It's funny you should say that. We've had loads. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Why do you ever want to know that? <laughs> well, because you can't tease us, you know, with, like, these girls gave us their, their answers, and you didn't tell us what it actually was. But do, why do you care how many kilometres of road have been built in Kent since 1996? Well, people need to know these things. But why? why <laughs> when are you ever going to use that? <laughs> Pub quiz? Is it going to annoy you all night if you don't find When's out? When's that going to come yes. up in a pub quiz? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe... Maybe the pub dudes around uh, Maidenstone. Uh, Maid Maidenstone. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Mind you, you wanted to know uh, who won yesterday on Beat the Star, so that's the same thing, Ah, really. yeah, but Beat the Buffet is a completely different thing. <laughs> Blind Man's Buffet, or whatever it's called, was a completely different thing to kilometres of road in Kent. Some of the things that people are saying on text is hilarious. Well, tell us! You can't keep us in suspense forever! <laughs> I don't think you should. I'm really frustrated! <laughs> How many kilometres of- I won't sleep tonight! I'm intrigued! How many, I'm bated breath here from Dave in Maidstone. <laughs> I'm just, I'm astonished by that. I don't think that people are, would care. Some of them are quite abusive. They really I are. I knew people really cared that much, but some people are being quite horrible to I you. don't think I'm going to say it. Radio 1. Radio 1.
podcast. Download them for free at bbc.co.uk slash Radio 1. Right, so we've got some more uh, classified items that Becky has found on these various websites that she peruses quite a lot. Mm-hmm. Just because she loves a bargain, doesn't she? Love it. You love it. <laughs> um, here's one that we discovered earlier. Portholes, £45. So the man who's actually selling holes. Two portholes, 45 the pair. Phone Alan. <coughs> I'm tempted to phone Alan. (laughs) (laughs) Do you need a couple of portholes? I do, yeah. 45 quid for two holes? A couple of people actually texted us saying they were interested in those. Why? I don't know, maybe they... If you've got a boat? Yes, that's... (laughs) Yes. Here's the next item. Pirelli calendars. £99. Do they still do those? £99? Don't even know what it is. Me neither. (laughs) <laughs> what are they, Scott? I think that they're, well, I'm sure the ad will explain it, but I think they're some kind of um, calendar from a while back with pictures, cl- cl- tasteful pictures of, of ladies on them but that workers would have on their walls. Why do you want a calendar from ages ago? I don't know. Two yesteryear calendars, uh, one see? Pirelli, one Dunlop, dating back to the mid-1960s, showing very tasteful, semi-nude artistic pictures of models taken in some very exotic parts of the world. Okay, so there you are. It's vintage ladies. Ooh. Well, they're vintage now. Oh. <laughs> they weren't vintage then, obviously. They're it was specialists. It, <laughs> it was the 60s. <laughs> when you say workers as well, what are you, what, what, what are you referring to? People would have it up in their workplace, okay. I think. Lads would have them up in their workplace. Right. Okay. Very, very, very rare. Must be a collector's dream. <laughs> Who collects calendars from 1979 or whatever? I don't, I don't know. Interested buyers, please submit your offers to me now on email. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's the one that we like a lot. Right? This is the one. This is the one that you want to get. I think I'm going to save for this. Okay, check it out. Transsexual rocking horse, £100. <laughs> what? That's right, it's a transsexual rocking horse. Transsexual rocking horse with removable willy and turd. Very detailed. <laughs> How much is it? <laughs> Hundred quid. <laughs> That's worth, worth it. Worth every I think. every penny. This is an art piece by artist Jay Love, not for kids. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> size thirty-one inches by forty-three inches by twelve inches. That's a good size. That is a good size for is a that... transsexual horse. <laughs> right. That's the horse, is it? Really fun talking point. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 you'd, have, you'd have that out, wouldn't you? <laughs> At your party. You don't want to see my transsexual rocking horse. It's, a, it's an icebreaker. I'm downsizing and do not have room for it anymore. <laughs> Click here for map. So he's, having, he's had a good clear out of his house, downsizing a little bit. Maybe he's getting a smaller house and he's decided to get rid of it. £100, it's a bargain. That's a lot of money, though. Couldn't you find a cheaper rocking horse and just make your own stick on Willy? <laughs> Podcast. Podcast. I think I should turn off the text screen at the moment. There's a lot of abuse there. I never realised that that Some question would be so popular and no. people would care. Hello, Radio 1. Hi, it's Becky. Hi, Becky. <laughs> Where are you today? I'm in Paris. Okay, uh, how can I help? Um, well, it's just my mum. She was going slightly mad at not getting that answer. Why? Because she's quite like that. Is she rocking <laughs> back and forward? Not quite, but she was getting quite annoyed. Okay, I, I should tell people now, really. You probably should, because she might go slightly mincing. Or do you think that I should just keep it going, Becky? Well, it's quite funny. Do you like your mum getting annoyed, if it's not your fault? Yeah, sometimes mm, it's quite fun yeah. to watch. Okay, I'm going to tell everyone now, because I, I, I can't Maybe stand the should... abuse. I'm a sensitive boy. Maybe you should just give one digit now. Three. And then, right, there are. that's the first digit. Dean in no, Sheffield. I can't do that. Dean in Sheffield says this could be a new feature. Mills Miles. Every day a new town or city. And how many miles have been built since a particular day? Well, judging by the text, our listenership would go sky high. <laughs> right, okay. So three. I'm gonna do it now. Oh, so I think I think No, just... it's really annoying people. Yeah, but I quite like... just never normally stop me, is it? No. Also, it is amusing me, all the different abusive terms that people are coming up with for you. I never knew words like that existed. I know. Wait. Mm. Um, okay. How many kilometres of road have been built in Kent since 1996? The answer is... Have you got a fanfare? Okay, yeah. The answer... is... Is is 
That's quite a good one. 344 kilometres of road have been built in Kent since 1996. Radio 1 Podcast. Radio 1 Podcast. That was the Scott Mills Daily. Why not try the best of Chris Moyles? Available now to download for free at bbc.co.uk slash radio 1.